Hey everyone, I'm going to go over my uh, daily fantasy baseball lineup optimizer. I've got the baseball one done and it is made up of uh, basically three parts. I mean, Here's the, the main tab that um, you can man maneuver through the three parts. Either the first one is the projections, which we'll go over, where you can kind of create your own projections. The stats, the pitcher and the batter stats uh, updated as of today with many stats. And then the optimal lineup, where you can create your, either a single lineup, uh, a stack lineup by teams, or a multiple entry lineup. And it's for FanDuel and DraftKings. So let's just start from the beginning. What you do when you first get it is you want to refresh today's data. What this does, I'm going to press, I'll press the button. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it takes about a minute or two to, um, to go through the whole, to this. So I'll pause it in a second. But what it does, it goes to the internet, pulls in all the stats that I use for the pitcher and batter stats and then it uh, pulls them into the tables. So I'm going to pause it in a second and then I'll pick it back up when we uh, once we're uh, done. Okay, now we're back and it, it finished refreshing the data. It took about a minute, minute and a half or so and we can go and take a look at our stats. So here's the pitcher. If we go to the pitchers, it's going to show you all the pitchers that are scheduled to pitch today and it just, I mean, it goes through all the main stats and I mean, the team, how they throw, there's different FanDuel information, the FanDuel salaries, and like year to date points, last 15 in games, and so on. DraftKings salary information, uh, their opponent, like home away, like what's the Vegas odds and the over under. And then we get season information, and I get some more detailed stats like ground balls to fly balls to see if they're a fly ball pitcher, strikeouts per nine innings, which is important for uh, many of the, fa the fantasy st sites. And then you can kind of see how they are in the last 14 days how they are uh, home or away versus how batters fare against them. Their uh, strikeouts, uh, this is how, how their opponents rank, all these ones in yellow. Like how their opponents uh, strike out, like this number two here. So they're the second most strikeouts in the league. So that David Price could be a good option here. But let's see, opponents rank in the score in the last seven runs. So they also scored a lot of runs, so maybe he's not a great option. So it's just a lot of stats to go through how they, uh, they, they do against lefty and righty, how the opponents bat home and away. And then there's the stadium information, uh, how the ballpark ranks for runs, for home runs, uh, and, and the weather. And finally, it's just our projections, and also your projections, which I'll show you in a second how, how we get to that. Same for batters. Batter has the same type of stats. It's the team. It shows if they're in the lineup, but I mean, I'm doing this at 8 in the morning, so none of the lineups are out, so that's why this is all blank. You got your, your team stats, your odds, your FanDuel and DraftKings stats, your opposing pitcher, and how they, they've been doing, if they're a fly ball pitcher, uh, their, your history versus them. Um, Cabrera has uh, got two home runs and 16 at bats for Scott Feldman. Bats 563, it could be a good play. Uh, different season stats. Here's the Woba. Uh, last seven games, last three games. To see if they're streaking. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, how the batter bats at home or away. This just means if they're at home, then this is their home number. If they're away, this is their away number. And the same is like here. The, the Woba versus lefty or righties. Uh, let's see. Cabrera is facing Scott Feldman. Where is it? Scott Feldman, who's a righty, so that just means first righties. Oh, sorry, first righties. He has a 4.28 woba, and so on. And here's the OPS, and then here's the stadium information. Are they even play, playing in a stadium that scores a lot of runs? It gets a lot of home runs, and the weather and our projections. Our projections come from here. This tab is based on a different stats, like the WOBA in the last seven games. If it's more than 50% above their C as an average, we increase our projections by 30%. If it's more than 25%, we increase by 15%. It's, I mean, it's kind of a, my basis for the algorithm to create the projections. And on this side, it just has the, the pitcher projections. So it's the same type of thing. The ERA, ERA in the last 14 days, um, the opponent's rank, home or away, if they're top five or bottom five. And it's just 
my way to get projections, which have been pretty helpful. And there's a spot for your projections. Where you can create your own projections to make this unique just for yourself. And the final spot is the, the uh, optimal lineups. If we go back to the main page, this is where we can control most of the data. I mean, refresh today's data. You could also refresh just certain parts of the data, like the lineups, the odds, and the weather. Those are things that change throughout the day. So you can just refresh those things throughout the day and, and monitor it as the day goes on. And you can check the lineups to see if they're in the lineup or not. Here's where you can transfer your projections or our projections. So it, it goes to these stats and transfers them onto, these are the pages where you run the optimal lineups. And here you can run, say right here on, on this tab entry, which is this is the FanDuel optimal lineup. You got all the different players, you got their uh, salary, what their projection is according to our projections. Um, see, I'll go in here, I'll put transfer our projections. So now I'll transfer today's stats. And we got the um, positions. Here's the DraftKings positions. Here's the, the fan, fan duel ones. And what, what we would do then, scroll over here, press for optimal lineup. I'm going to press it. It's going to run solver. You have to make sure solver is installed. If not, there's instructions on how to do that. It really only takes a minute. And it just ran it. Solver found the result. And it prints them up here. Danny Salazar is the optimal pitcher for today. And here's all the players that are your optimal optimal lineup. I mean, you still want to check later in the day and make sure they're actually playing, that they're in the lineup. But this is uh, what comes through. You can also do, let's see, we refresh the team list. And then you can, if you want to stack a team, say you want to stack um, Arizona. You want to have four players from Arizona. Press for a team-weighted lineup. This should only take a second. There, found a result. Now if you look at it here, look, we got one, two, three, four Arizona players. Goldschmidt, Owens, Cunningham, or no, Pollock and Trumbo. So there's our uh, Arizona lineup, stack lineup. And you can do this, you can have multiple teams if you want, if you want to stack Arizona and Boston or something. Or change the number to only two players or whatever you want. In addition, we can have the multiple entry lineup. What this does, it's the same stuff, except here you can include or exclude certain players. If you want to include um, Danny Salazar, but you want to make sure that uh, Brian Hall Holiday is not in there, you can exclude him. Uh, they they got the position here. And then what you do you scroll over to here and you press to run the, the five lineups. I'm not going to press it now because it's going to it's gonna run through them all because I just ran for five. You can run up to 15 lineups, you just, but you still have to press OK after each one. So that's the uh, projection spreadsheet. I hope you, um, you enjoy it. Thanks.